What is up Smack Empire, Smack Empire here and welcome back to another Little Nightmares video on the channel. I am still hoping and keeping Little Nightmares 2 DLC hopes alive as I believe that these kids deserve their story, at least their side of story needs to be heard by the fans of Little Nightmares. And today I want to talk about what I started a few days ago, maybe a week or two ago, where I talked about the unused chapter. In there, there are still two points that I didn't talk about in details. This is one of them. We're gonna do another video on it which is gonna be specific for that. However, now I understand why this unused chapter isn't a part of the main game. And by the way, these are all my theories. And if you are interested in more theories like this one, it would be really appreciated if you smash like, subscribe, help your boy get to 75,000. Now with all that shenanigans out of the way, let us jump into it. So I want to start with the Little Nightmares 2 comics. The comics are free on Android and iOS, by the way. However, in episode 6 in specific, you see for the first time a full perspective from Mono as the Pale City is going into the chaos mode. All the adult residents have turned into the viewers, and the only survivors left are the kit, which is more evident when you play Little Nightmares 2 how the city has just turned maniac and mutant to say the least. You see kids survive trying to beg for their lives as a shadowy figure and a creature grabs all of them one at a time as Mono escapes and hides in one of the television. Even though it is presumed that that creature actually ended up finding Mono but he still survived or didn't, we still don't know who that creature was. There are two possible theories for it. Number one, it is Thin Man. But this sucker seems more aggressive than the Thin Man we experience and encounter. But then again, we don't know the pain and suffering and the agony that Thin Man was going through after what he went through. So that is number one because we need to understand that Thin Man was trying extremely hard using the time jumps from the signal tower to get to his past self. So that is not out of the question. And number two is that this is the North Wind from the comic. See, I believe that there are many characters characters from the comics that unfortunately we'll never get to see in the franchise game but they should at least make an appearance or easter egg or something like that because we never get to see north wind explicitly other than what he has been portrayed as it is not far-fetched to say that the way that creature stood there as mono is hiding in the television it is not far-fetched to say that it could be that so i leave that one open but my main point here isn't this creature. We might talk about him in the future. My point here is that Mono escapes because we see him in Little Nightmares 2. He survived here. So this brings us to the art book of Little Nightmares 2. Things that didn't make the cut for the original game. Now in it, we see these six kids. I'm not gonna touch on these kids. Skip them. All right. But what I am going to touch on is this page in specific. I'm just going to let this page stay there on the screen. Does this remind you of anything? Literally anything. Maybe something that we talked about? Well, if you're smart, you already put two and two together. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can see in one of them. First of all, all of them shows chaos and pure madness left and right. But in the bottom left picture, you can see four kids as a thin man is watching and standing over them. Uh, this is some heavy imagery, ladies and gentlemen. This is direct reminiscent of the sixth episode of the comic. But it doesn't stop there, ladies and gentlemen, because the unused chapter that I showed a while back, and also recently, Full Tilt On, another YouTube channel who does a lot of good stuff on games, such as Little Nightmares in specific, where he does the out-of-bound exploration and messing with the game files and whatnot, he did another extended look at the unused chapter of Little Nightmares 2. I'll touch on why I believe that there was another ending waiting for us, but I think I now understand why these kids didn't make it into the final cut. You see, at one point, judging from all of the models here in the game files, judging by the comics, and judging by the art book, these kids were supposed to be in the full game. Not just that, ladies and gentlemen, we were supposed to meet them. Yes, we were supposed to meet them as Mono and see them being the way they are, surviving. I'll touch on this more in another video, but this kid that I mentioned in my last video where I talked about the alternate Mono, I said, who is this kid? He is, I know, from the sixth comic, but he's also the same kid alongside a few others that survived that day when that creature tried to take them. It makes sense mostly to assume that creature was Thin Man, it really helps 
our narrative here. It could be anyone, honestly, but it helps the narrative here for mono story specifically. So if you put two and two together, ladies and gentlemen, the hopes for the DLC stays alive. There are stories to tell from Little Nightmares 2 World. There are stories to tell from the perspectives of these survivors, these kids, the blonde hair girl, the ghost kid, these survivors from 6th episode of the comic. And they went up and beyond to create an entire apartment for Mono to visit these kids and see their suffering and how they're doing after the chaos and the chaotic day of the signal tower blasting through the entire pale city. Big shout out to Full Tilt On. I'll put his handle in the description. I'm not gonna show the entire video link will be in the description you literally have a playable sequence a playable sequence of that kid from sixth comic and seeing how smoothly it works in the game it shows that they've always had plans for these kids to appear sometime i'm still gonna tell you guys that having the fat kid model being playable having the blonde girl model being playable and finally this kid from the sixth comic it shows that this is exactly how they were supposed to go starting with the fat kid then the ghost kid blonde girl and finally ending with the sixth episode of the comic here's the final thing i would leave you i believe one of the reasons that comics were released before the game is when they realized that they couldn't add these sections and when tarzier studios realized that okay this game might not need a dlc so then after creating all those sequences they were like okay we did all of that instead of making it a dlc or adding it into to the full game why not just make a comic out of it and now we know the prequel story so i know this decreases the chances of us seeing these characters in a future dlc specifically dlc or future game tarzier studios are gone unfortunately with sad heart the ip is still owned by bandai namco and if all of us little nightmares fans we shout to bandai namco that hey yo we will pay almost full price okay maybe not that but we will pay for the three dlcs alongside the p PS5 and Xbox next gen patch, they will hear us and they will make some sort of contract for Tarzier Studios so that they can come here and finish this story. Give us the closure. I really think, and I know I'm just dragging at this point, but my final point here is I really believe they should do three DLCs, each DLC showing perspective of kids surviving from different threats. You can go deep with the teacher one, the hospital, and the final one is the pure chaos that would put the entire loop in a full circle. We start with Mono going up all the way to the Thin Man. But if you can have the third DLC, the reminiscent of the sixth episode where we see Thin Man at his best causing pure chaos in the pale city. Oh my goodness, your boy having some wet dreams for Little Nightmares 2. This is some next level pure DLC content material that I'm giving Tarzan Studios and Bandai Namco for free. Take it. Make three DLCs. That would give the best closure to Little Nightmares 2 story. That would give the best closure to Mono because trust me, if any character that deserves closure, it is freaking Mono. And I would leave you here. Make sure you are stay tuned for part three of this where we will cover the alternate ending, now that I've learned what that unused chapter means. So make sure you are subscribed notifications on. Follow me on Twitter and Insta, there it's Mac and Pie. I know at least some of you guys use Instagram, so make sure to follow me there. Help me get to 1k and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and peace.